hello aquarius i hope you guys are doing awesome wherever you are so aquarius you want a soulmate reading that's what we're gonna do we're gonna check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate whether you're currently in contact or not we're gonna see what's going on at the present moment between you two on this soulmate journey you're on first part of the video we're gonna ask what's coming towards you aquarius what you'll be dealing with facing how to best handle it for your highest good and how you're currently doing on this soulmate journey uh, second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, and what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at the present moment, especially in relation to you, Aquarius. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Aquarius? What will Aquarius be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? How is Aquarius currently doing on this soulmate journey they on? Wow, this is one extra representing your subconscious. Let's see. Wow. It's a lot going on. You are pulled in many different directions. A lot of responsibilities. But look, this is you. Look how strong you are. This is positive thinking. This is you believing in yourself, being strong-willed. Um, a lot of you are dealing with Leo, which happens to be opposite sign. But here, in this particular tarot deck, a seven of wands shows all astrological signs. Yeah, it shows the water signs, the fire signs, air signs, and earth signs. So you are dealing with all kinds of astrological signs, Aquarius, on a collective level. But a lot of you are very much drawn to Leo. A lot of you are dealing with the soulmate that your opposite sign, representing Leo sign. Wow, problems with communication showing up here. This is you feeling disappointed, heartbroken, um, confused at this time as to what to do, how to proceed. You feel blocked. You love this person a lot. This is you loving this person very deeply, but not uh, letting them know right now that you love them or still love them. This is you loving this person very deeply. You feel this is a past life connection for you with this person. So you are spiritual. You are aware spiritually that there's more to life than just this temporary physical existence. It's temporary for a reason. Yeah, we learn certain lessons, then we ascend temporarily and we come back to learn different lessons in different relationships. So you know, you understand that some of you are actually doing spiritual work for a living and you're good at it, but you feel blocked right now. There is problem with communication with your soulmate. You feel blocked. Uh, yeah, stressful energy around you. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, you deep down know, so your subconscious is speaking to you loudly. You want to be with this person in lifetime commitment. That's what you wish for. This is your subconscious. You're on a soul level. You want to be with this person in a long-term commitment. Meaning for life. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Aquarius. What is Aquarius dealing with facing? And how is Aquarius doing on the soulmate journey they on currently? A lot of you are dealing with Capricorn, also Pisces, very strongly. Capricorn again. There's a lot of toxicity around you from people around you. It's not you. It's people bringing their drama to you. People view you as strong, wise. Uh, it's okay for you to give them your advice, but... Um, don't allow people to drop their drama on your shoulders because they're not going to learn the lessons they're supposed to learn, okay? So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of drama in the family showing up here, some toxicity from family members, uh, disagreements, fights of serious nature. Uh, remember that we have individual karma to balance and collective karma. So just because you may be their family members, uh, family member, uh, doesn't mean you have to um, take their drama on your shoulders. So they may be uh, 
disagreeing with other family members uh, so they have their own karma to balance with each other the best thing you can probably do is uh, keep clear meaning keep neutral don't take sides those people have whatever they're going through that there's so much drama uh, in in family members and uh, maybe extended family uh, job also people have their own drama that they need to resolve so yeah best thing is to keep neutral don't take sides yeah let people resolve their own drama the karmic lessons need to be learned that way they're not gonna learn by dropping everything on your shoulders people view you as the strong one as wise spiritual so they're gonna be drawn to you whether they are your neighbors family members friends co-workers business partners they're gonna be drawn naturally to you because people view you as wise okay yeah yeah don't don't yeah don't let uh people drop their drama on your shoulders it is not your responsibility to resolve the drama so if people are bickering backstabbing each other gossiping about each other keep in the clear stay away from that energy let them resolve their own drama yeah this is you unable to decide whether you want to reach out to your soulmate right now or not you feel blocked you feel confused we all go through this we can easily free ourselves of this energy i often call this self-inflicted mental anguish so you can easily free yourself of this this is you over analyzing and worrying excessively okay we all do that at different times depending what we're going through so this is you trying to see clearly not confuse yourself don't overanalyze so much where you can't see the big picture oh yeah so this is you walking away from toxicity you have toxic people around you and you know who they are okay at work at business in the family you know who they are this is you walking away from toxicity some of you have walked away from this person of yours your soulmate whether you gave them a cold shoulder you got tired of revisiting the same issues over and over again you finally said enough is enough but you still love this person so maybe you are not reaching out to them right now uh, because you had enough of drama but you still love this person the fact is you still love this person very deeply and there is a past life connection between you and this person yeah deep deep connection you look people people who are toxic view you as very strong so naturally they're gonna look up to you to help them resolve their whatever drama they're dealing with it's not up to you to resolve the drama they need to work through those life lessons themselves otherwise they're not going to learn what they're supposed to learn uh, you can advise them but keep clear of their drama yeah don't put your uh, don't put their uh, stressed energy on your shoulders yeah that's not your responsibility yeah you see this is you cutting out toxicity from your life this is you saying no to toxic relatives toxic energy vampires at the job business uh, anybody that's toxic draining your energy and resources means they are toxic you need to say bye bye too you can still love them from a distance but if they continue being toxic bringing drama to you that they're not resolving themselves you know they don't belong in your life and you can always revisit those relationships later on and see if they have improved or not if not you don't want to carry these burdens this toxic energy on your shoulders okay this is counterproductive yeah counterproductive here it shows you feel alone empty sad this is you missing your soulmate a lot and this the way it's painted over here shows three of swords on the side so you feel heartbroken sad empty misunderstood by your soulmate <clears throat> yeah you see you're reminiscing about this person this is you very strong soulmate connection from past lives six of cups this is you reminiscing you're trying to be positive think about the good things that have happened between you two and this is very a common uh, period for a lot of people because it's uh holiday season and people tend to think about uh their loved ones even from a distance uh, so it's a lot of people are very sad actually 
during these times when it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, people actually are very depressed, dwelling on the past. This is you very much loving your person, but not communicating together effectively right now. This is you. This is your subconscious. You're really hoping, wishing subconsciously. you wishing, hoping to have long-term relationship with this person. Universe, please show us. Uh, what's coming towards Aquarius? How is Aquarius doing on the soulmate journey currently? You're checking up on them. You're very curious how they're doing. This is you not communicating right now. You feel like they need to reach out to you. Yeah, you see? This is you heartbroken, disappointed, serious fights, disagreements showing up in the past. you keeping your standards high. This is you keeping your standards high. This is you being an empress energy, whether you're male or female, you're showing up here as keeping your standards high. Yeah, this is you being patient. So this person is teaching you patience. This is you being patient, uh, spiritual. A lot of you do spiritual work, whether you do it for a living or as a hobby, it's equally important and recognized over here. This is your direct connection with the divine very spiritual spiritual awareness is present here beautiful energy to describe you let's see what's going on with your soulmate universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of aquarius for aquarius highest good please universe the soulmate of aquarius the soulmate of aquarius what is going on with the soulmate of aquarius and how is the soulmate of Aquarius currently relating to Aquarius, especially emotionally? What's on soulmate's mind? How is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius? This is their subconscious. One extra message. You see? Now, all aces are good. An ace of swords in particular, especially in position one, uh, represents communication. So they want to communicate with you, but because the way it's painted, the Ace of Swords is pointing south instead of north, it shows that this person is purposely withholding communication at this time. So this person is purposely not communicating, not reaching out to you at this time. Wow. You both got this energy. Seven of Wands. This shows unexpected communication. So this person is scared you may reject them or turn them down if they reach out to you. They have unanswered questions. Uh, so whenever people have problems with communication, uh, people start guessing things, assuming things, perceiving things. Uh, so this person is fearing that if they communicate, reach out to you, you may reject them or turn them down. Regardless, even though they are scared of you rejecting them, hanging up on them or blocking them or saying no. Uh, this is their fear, of course. They still want to fight for you. This person wants to communicate with you. All pages are messengers, but page of wands represents communication that is unexpected, out of nowhere, passionate. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Also Aquarius, very strongly here, Gemini and Libra. You see, this person is missing you a lot. They feel so empty without you. So both of you feel like you're missing each other. Yeah, this person wants to communicate, but is not reaching out right now. They miss you a lot. This person feels empty without you, missing you a lot. Let me see their subconscious, you see. They're suffering in silence. This person is suffering in silence. They, they are suffering. They're not communicating with people about what they feel inside, what they're thinking, feeling. Yeah, this person feels heartbroken. Um, hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on with the soulmate of Aquarius and how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius? How are they feeling towards Aquarius? They love you a lot, but they silent about it. So this is them not communicating that they love you. This person loves you a lot, Queen of Cups. Yeah, they want to be successful at this. So even though they're fearing that if they reach out, when they reach out, you may reject them or uh, turn them down or say no to them. They still are 
planning on being victorious at this. This person is willing to do whatever it takes not to lose you. This person loves you a lot. A lot of you are dealing with Cancerian, also Pisces, Scorpio. They're waiting. They've been waiting on communication from you. They've been waiting. They've been assessing the situation, uh, looking at everything, what has transpired, what happened, what was said. Uh, they're trying to make a wise plan on how to approach this situation. they really not just sitting there looking pretty or, or handsome, waiting for things to unfold. They're actually making a plan on how to approach this correctly where they are successful at getting your attention. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with, they want a new beginning with you. Um, they hope to take a leap of faith with you. Um, they want to get your attention. A lot of you are dealing with um, um, Aquari, um, what's the earth signs? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Universe, please show us. What's going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? And how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius? See, they're waiting. This person has been waiting on communication from you. A lot of you are also dealing with Sagittarius. See, they feel blocked. They're scared. They're fearful. Both of you had this energy from two different tarot decks. Eight of swords so they over analyzing excessively they thinking of the worst case scenario that you're going to reject them hang up on them block them say no to them it's like they're being so negative uh, this person is over analyzing so much uh worrying so much they can't see the big picture they can't see clearly because they worry too much over analyze too much this is what I often call self-inflicted mental anguish. They can easily free themselves of this energy. It's like they, they're scared to look with their eyes to see a big picture. Yeah, you see, this is them at a crossroad, trying to figure out what to do, what not to do, trying to make important decisions. Yeah, you see, this person feels... <laughs> this person feels... Um, bound to you like they can't release you can't let you go so you two try to release each other in the past it didn't work this this is karma meaning the two of you signed a soul contract that you would be working on soul lessons together in this lifetime so you have important connection from many lifetimes before with this person a lot of you are dealing with capricorn what a strong connection they feel like they can't release you they feel almost obsessed with you not able to think about anything else but you. But they suffering in silence. Let me see what's going on here. This is their subconscious. Universe, please show us. The soulmate of Aquarius. What's going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? Oh, they thinking so much deeply. Uh, not expressing to anyone around them what they're feeling. This is very unhealthy way of dealing with it. They need to find at least one person that they trust, whether it's a family member, a trusted friend, a therapist, a neighbor, whoever they feel comfortable to. To They need to release this. This is a heavy burden. This is too much stress. They need to talk about this. They're holding everything inside, yet they love you a lot. This person loves you a lot. A lot of love for you that they're not expressing, not showing, not verbalizing. They're very happy they met you. This person feels very happy they met you. Once again, a lot of you are dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, very strongly. Yeah, they want to come in with some kind of emotional gesture, love offer. But they suffering in silence. Yeah, this is them not taking action. They know they're going to have to do something eventually. They can't be in this energy forever. This is the highest level of stress that they're feeling right now. So it can't go any worse than it is now. It can only get better after this. So they know they're going to have to make a choice sooner than later on what to do. So... Aquarius, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time. Wow, look at this. I just looked on the bottom. They're very depressed, sad, heartbreak, regret. 
we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there.